Hey guys, I am here with Alger Theater board member Barney Tyson. How you doing today? Great. All right, so welcome to Detroit Reforms. So this place obviously really has the bones to be something really great. So can you tell our Detroit Reforms viewers out there a little bit of the history of Alger? Sure. The Alger Theater was built in 1935 by Saul and Hattie Sloan, a husband and wife team that were in the theater development business. They built it for a gentleman named George Washington Trendle, who was better known later for the Green Hornet and the Lone Ranger radio shows that mm -hmm. started in Detroit. The theater changed hands several times during the years. Ultimately, it was owned from 78 to 81 by Irv Steiner and his family when they added a stage to the theater and converted it to live performances. So at that time, you, it wouldn't be unusual to see the Duke Ellington Orchestra, mm. Tommy Dorsey, or Dave Breitbart play. And in addition, uh, once Blood, Sweat, and Tears played in the Elger Theater. Mm. So what are you hoping this theater can become? The intention of the friends of the Elger Theater is to convert the theater back to a, a space that can show both movies and community uh, theater. Mm -hmm. So if we wanted to do a, a neighborhood a theater company of uh, Bye Bye Birdie or one of the old plays, we could do that. If we want to show a first run movie, mm -hmm. we could do that as well. All right, so you got any kind of events planned to show this place off and what it can be for the community? Well, what we do regularly is we have a couple of things like the Halloween party happens okay. every year. We also do uh, participate in the East English Village garage sale. And then we host Bruin Views that We'll play movies at, this past year, an example would have been Young Frankenstein we mm -hmm. showed with uh, Motor City Brewery mm -hmm. provide the beer. So we had a Detroit event going on. Okay, so what do you think the Alger Theater will mean to the city of Detroit? Why do we need this here? I think that the theater fits really nicely with the, the new planning and development director, Maurice Cox, his idea of 20 minute walkable cities. And there aren't many neighborhoods in the city where you have a movie theater mm -hmm. within walking distance. Okay. And that's what these neighborhoods were built on. Everybody who you talk to who used to live on the east side, oh yeah, I've been to the Elder <laughs> because they walked there as kids. Absolutely, that's what's up. Well, I cannot wait till this place really jumps off and I can come back, man. Per great. Thank we'll you. love to have you. Yeah, thanks for talking to us, man. All right.